In today's video, we're testing something a lot of natural farmers and gardeners have wondered about. Which works better for chili plants? Chemical fertilizer or homemade fermented fertilizer? To find out, I'm setting up a simple but clear experiment. We'll grow two chili plants side by side using two different fertilizers, one with 16-16-16 balanced NPK and the other with a homemade fermented egg fertilizer made from all natural ingredients. I took two young, healthy hot pepper seedlings, same variety, same size, and planted them into poly bags filled with the same potting mix, topsoil, compost, and a little rice husk for aeration. Both plants are placed next to each other so they'll get the same amount of sunlight, water, and temperature. This way, the only difference between them will be the fertilizer we use. Now let's prepare our fermented egg fertilizer. This recipe is simple, traditional, and popular among natural growers. In a clean container I add two fresh eggs. You can crush the shells too for calcium. A few tablespoons of molasses. This feeds the microbes and helps fermentation. Rice washing water, rich in starch and beneficial bacteria. And finally, fermented plant juice, also called FPJ or FFJ, made from green plants like sunflower shoots or banana stems. We mix everything well and let it ferment for about 7 to 10 days until it gives a light sour smell. That's when it's ready. Over the next several weeks, I observed both plants closely. At first, they both looked healthy, green leaves and steady growth. But by the third week, I began to notice a difference. The 161616 plant started developing thicker stems, more leaves, and more flower buds, while the fermented eggplant remained smaller and had fewer blooms. By the fifth week, the difference was clear. The plant with 161616 had set many more fruits, while the fermented egg one had only a few small peppers forming. So, what's going on here? The reason behind this difference lies in nutrient balance. Fermented egg fertilizer mainly supplies nitrogen and calcium, which are great for leaf growth and plant health, but it's low in phosphorus, P, and potassium, K. Phosphorus helps the plant form strong roots and develop flowers, and potassium is essential for fruit formation, color, and flavor. On the other hand, 161616 fertilizer provides a balanced ratio of all three, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, so the plant can grow, flower, and fruit efficiently. So, from this small experiment, we learned that fermented egg fertilizer is great as a natural supplement. It boosts soil life and provides gentle nutrition, but it cannot fully replace a balanced fertilizer when you want high yield and strong fruiting. If you prefer natural farming, try combining both methods. Use fermented egg or plant juice every week and apply a light dose of balanced NPK once or twice a month. That way you'll get healthy soil, strong roots, and plenty of fruits. See you in the next video, and happy growing!